What's up, my dudes? Yo, shout out to all the haters out there. I wouldn't have half of the motivation if it wasn't for you. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> let's get in here, bro. Uh, this is MX versus ATV Untamed here. So, I haven't played this game in about three years. So, it's been a minute. I had to re-download it on my 360 because I actually had it on a different account. Holy shit, that jump right there worked out perfectly <laughs> on complete access accident but um yeah i actually had this game on a different account even though i had it on my xbox downloaded is it wouldn't even let me go into it because i had it on one of my other accounts so then i had to go in there and rebuy it on a different account Ugh, fucking headache to say the least uh headache and a half bro but yeah, I'm going to be doing these free riding videos, and I might even get into some, like, track review style stuff on some of these older motocross games out there. And I know <laughs> there's really no, like, user-made content for this stuff anymore um, on some of these older games. So it's not like reviewing a, a MX Simulator custom track or, like, a Reflex custom track or anything like that. But still, yet, yeah, you know, it's, it's uh, something cool, and I can still go back and kind of play these older games and have somewhat of uh, video content to try out. I'm about to die. <laughs> um, but let's do the uh, unlimited no footer here, dude. <laughs> oh, I always love doing that in this game. It looks so ridiculous. Oh, but uh, you can just ride the no footer forever if you wanted to. Let's see if we can try to uh, mob around this track a little bit. Uh, no feet skis, dude. <laughs> no feet skis. There's a new word for you. Skeet, skeet, ski. So, oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Picnic table. Shit. Okay, here we go. It's kind of weird. It almost seems like he uh, will bring his feet back up even when you don't want him to sometimes. I don't know why that happens. It may be whenever you get, like, going too slow or something. I'm not really sure. But I just fucking grinded that wall right there, dude. Oh, this is hilarious. I just love doing this right here. Let me try to uh, combine one of these little tricks like this uh, to another trick. I'm going to have to get a bigger jump for that. Let me see if I can get over here. Oh, God, water, water. I can't control this thing at all. <laughs> There we go. Do a little Travis Pastrana run beside the bike, bro. <laughs> but uh, what's crazy about this game is whenever it came out, in real life, I didn't even know what motocross was. This game came out like way before I was even into dirt bikes. So basically, I didn't even play this game at all until after I'd played like Reflex and Alive and all that stuff. Then I went back to this game um, and I was like, oh, okay, this is what everybody was playing when I didn't even know what motocross was. Um, I feel like such a scrub being somebody that didn't know anything about it until I was like 14 or 15, but uh, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. But it's like, wow. I mean, you know, a lot of you guys are probably super motocross fans. You've been playing all these games for a long time, but I just didn't even know what it was. Um, now, I think I did play this game a, a long time ago, but it was before I even knew what motocross was. I think I, I like, rented the game from... Uh, I don't know if it was, uh, there was a thing called Movie Gallery uh, in my town beside me, and uh, I think I rented this game one time, and of course, I just seen dirt bikes and monster trucks and shit on it. I didn't know anything about it, um, but like later on down the line, whenever I rebought this game, like five or six years later, maybe even more than that, maybe like seven or eight years later after I played Reflex and stuff, I seen one of the tracks in this game, and I, I had like faint memories of it from a long time ago, and you got to understand, you know, whenever I say a long time ago, I literally didn't even know what like real motocross racing was, you know what I mean, um, back whenever I played this game, and it's, it's just crazy to think back and realize, oh, wait a minute, I, uh, I think I actually played this game a long time ago before I ever knew what any, you know, motocross, supercross, any of that stuff really was. So it's, it's unreal how I never got into it, even though it was sort of all around me. Um, in an even crazier story, I played, uh, I think the game was called Excite Bike or something. I, I don't know the exact name of it, but there was one game on the Nintendo 64, I'm pretty sure. Was it on the Nintendo 64? Yeah, I think it was. Um, 
where you could go in there and kind of build like a little supercross track on it. It was like a pre-made like little supercross sections and you could kind of like piece them together and shit. And uh, dude, I was doing that when I was like eight or nine. <laughs> and I'm thinking back and it's like, why did I never find motocross? Why did I never get into it? It's so bizarre to me now that I think back to it. It's like, what the hell? You know, I was building custom tracks whenever I was like seven or eight years old. Custom supercross tracks when I didn't even really know what it was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just unreal to me that I did that. Um, no hander, baby. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and then to think where I'm at now on custom tracks and stuff, it's just, it's hilarious to think that, like, I was doing this shit ever since I came out of the womb. I just didn't even realize it. You know, I was building custom tracks and stuff on games way back in the day. I just didn't know what the hell I was actually doing. So, um, yeah, dude, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but that's the story of me and motocross games. Like, I pretty much played them all, but I just didn't know what they were <laughs> back in the day. I guess I was too young to really, I don't know. I have no idea. Nobody around me really raced dirt bikes. Um, I mean, there was some people that had dirt bikes and stuff and just kind of rode in the backyard, but nobody really raced them. So I guess I just never really knew what uh, motocross was. It's so weird, dude. And also what's crazy about it is my neighbor has a, uh, a shop right beside me and he was actually a pro supercross racer way back in the day in real life uh in like 86 i think or something like that um and he's my neighbor and i didn't even i didn't even like piece two and two together uh, i mean it was all around me but just like i just never found it for some reason until i was like 14 or 15 i don't know how on god's green earth uh, i just i have no clue it just never, it's like it just never piqued my interest or something until then. But once I actually found it, I mean, it was just history from there. But um, let me try to get on that little sterilizer. Whoa, uh, what button? Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, man, what a crazy story. I know I've told uh, how I found motocross uh, story kind of in a video before, but that was more of like the the actual what you would call like full-blown story um like from the very beginning like before i even knew what motocross was basically uh yeah dude just having fun chilling free riding just going wherever i want to go doing whatever i want to do i was thinking i could jump across that water but now i'm gonna case the shit out of that and uh you know, I haven't spent the amount of time on some of these older motocross games that most people probably have. So you got to bear with me a little bit if I'm not hitting like the coolest sections ever on all of these free ride tracks and stuff. I just haven't rode on them that much. Now with Reflex, that game, I could tell you every spot on every track on every everything about that game because I've played it that much. But these older motocross games, I just didn't... Uh, didn't put that much time into them. Now this one, I mean, I've rode on every single track a certain amount in this game. It's not like I've only rode on two tracks and played the game for three hours, you know. Like, I haven't played it, like, reflex level time, uh, if that makes sense. Which, a lot of you guys probably played this game for a crazy amount of time before reflex came out. But for me, it just wasn't quite like that because I didn't even know what motocross was then. So, um, but... Yeah, man. I don't know what's up. Oh, shit. I don't know what's up with all these random other people on here that are free riding. I didn't know it actually did that. That's kind of bizarre. He's like barely moving. <laughs> what's up, Haas? Get off that ATV, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, it looks like we're on the NASCAR track here, boys. Ricky Bobby style. Dude, I know I was saying this in my live stream the other day, but do any of you guys remember that rap song? It's like, Ricky Bobby, hoes want to drink. Uh, do the Ricky Bobby. <laughs> like, I can't really remember that song at all, but I just remember it was like some rap song that had Ricky Bobby in it. And it that's like a faint memory in my mind from like 08, 09 era. Um, some Ricky Bobby song from like way back in the day. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, dude. But, uh, oh, shit. We're getting tunnel vision. Little baby got to keep a tunnel vision. You know what I'm saying? Oh, can-can. Oh, so can you land in a can-can? 
If you land in a can-can, does that mean you're side-saddling? I don't know if you... I don't really know all the different tricks and shit you can do on this game, but... Okay, that's a side-saddle. That's a knack-knack. Oh! No-hander. <laughs> I love how you can just throw up the no-hander while you're going. It's like, what's up, bitches? Uh, that's hilarious. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to do that. You got to be really careful about pulling some of these tricks that are on land, because as soon as you go off of the air at all, um, or off of the ground, off of the air, yeah, there you go, Spence, fucking genius English. Um, as soon as you leave the ground to go to the air, it's going to do like a different trick than it would on the ground, so you have to be kind of careful there. Um Let's see. I, d I just love that no-footer, dude. <laughs> just riding around with it like this. Oh, it's so hilarious. It's like such goon mode style. This is the cool kind of shit you could do in these older games. Like, they would never put something this cool in a newer motocross game. Never, ever, ever. Um, it it's just, it's this kind of stuff that I'm talking about that makes a motocross game amazing. I mean, it's just it's stuff like that, <laughs> like flying away from the map. Oh, it's just... It's historical level stuff, you know? It's just awesome. Makes you remember a game. It's like, oh yeah, that game was awesome, dude. All the different fun stuff you could do on it. Um, and that's the way they are, man. But like these newer games, ooh, going up in a tree. Just call me squirrely turly, but uh, <laughs> so that's kind of, what the fuck? My dude literally just like busted his nuts and hopped off of the bike straight up. Let me see if I can do like this and land in a no-hander. Ooh, that's going to be a hard landing. Oh, it's just like so much fun how you can combine the tricks like this. You could never do that in some of those newer motocross games. Um, they were just so much fun back then. Just the stuff, just all the random stuff. Like, look at how big this free ride map is. I mean, you could just sit here and go for hours. And there's how many free ride maps in this game? Like fucking 10 <laughs> in comparison to most uh newer games that have either none or just like three or something like that you know this game's got like 10 of them um and obviously there it's got like the motocross tracks built into the the free ride tracks as well but still um that's a lot of just like free riding opportunities on a track uh, let's see. So there's this little section right here. I do remember this, but this is like a really cool style of a, any sort of, uh, what you would call like biome or vibe or whatever to a motocross track, the nighttime style. It, it's kind of like you're just on a, a plainsy sort of field like this. And, uh, you know, you can see the stars in the background. I just love that, dude. It reminds me of where I started racing, um, you know, dirt bikes. That's where I started was on a track that was, you could only ride on it at nighttime. It, we only raced on it at nighttime. So it had this really similar background sort of to this right here. And uh, I just love nighttime motocross racing. It's just, it's so cool to me. Just the, the whole feeling of it has something totally different than daytime racing in motocross and uh i'm always going to have a little bit more of an attachment to nighttime racing and the lights on in the background and stuff like that because that's what i started on so um yeah man you're just you're always going to have a little bit more of an attachment to whatever kind of style uh that you start on with anything in life out there you're always going to have just a little bit more of a kind of a personal biased attachment to it um Okay, let's do the uh, standard no-footer, no-hander. <laughs> What's up, dude? I'm professional free rider, bro. Ugh, oh, that's funny. That is funny. But yeah, dude, I plan on doing a lot more of these videos. On the next one, I'll probably end up talking more about the free riding that I'm actually doing on the track. But uh, this one kind of got off into some talking about my past and stuff like that with motocross. But uh, in the future, I'll probably actually talk more about the sections I'm hitting and some of the bigger jump lines and trying to discover some stuff on some of these tracks. Uh, so, yeah, dude, I recommend you going and picking up this game if you haven't ever played it before. It's on, uh, you can buy it on Xbox Live for the 360. Uh, I think it's like 19 bucks or something like that. So, uh, maybe like 15, but I think it's like 19. Um, 
But this game's worth your money still yet to this day, dude. Like, there's a lot of content here. I know the controls are not like Reflex. You don't have, like, double controls here. But you can still whip the bike and uh, do all that stuff. You basically just, like, hold down the A button. And you, uh, let me show you if I can get up here. <laughs> Let me get to something that's actually a decent sized jump. You basically just hold the A button down and you can kind of like turn the bike over. Um, it's a little bit uh, more almost like a pre-baked. Oh, that's a monster jump right there. Woo! That is definitely a transfer, dude. Um, but basically, you know, you can kind of like whip it over like that. Let me get to a bigger jump. Jeez. Jeez, Spence. Hit you a jump you can actually whip on, bro. These are all really small on that side of the track. Uh, Where's a big jump, dude? Oh, I think I'm going to not get very much airtime right here. Oh, that's decent airtime. Not really, JK. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, but I kind of hit a little jump before I hit the bigger jump. Let me see. Uh, if I can hit this sucker wide open, I might be able to get some airtime. A little bit. Um, I do have the uh, pro physics on or whatever and all that stuff turned on. I got the gas gyro and the brake gyro and all that stuff on. So um, the, all that stuff I always have maxed out on any of these arcade games here. So, And I think it actually helps you whip a little bit more too in this game whenever you have all that stuff on as well. Uh, because you can actually control it more in the air. I know there's a monster daddy jump over here. This is it right here. Oh, I make him up short. That's one that <laughs> it's hard to even focus on whipping because you know you're going to have to huck it so hard to land it. Dude, this game's got some monster jumps on it, like on the Supercross tracks and stuff. This is one of those games that's more like fa everything is fantasy sized um, when you think about it, really. You know, like... And a lot of motocross games were like that. Um, you could even say Reflex's stock Supercross tracks were a little bit on the fantasy side, like how wide they were and just kind of how much airtime you got on every single jump is a little bit more fantasy. And the reason they do that on arcade games is because that's how you get your fun factor. There wouldn't be any fun factor in it if you had like super realistic, small sized you know, the perfect scaling jump kind of thing on these arcade games, there just wouldn't be nowhere near the same amount of fun factor. Um, and that's kind of why they've always done that. Let's see if we can hook a whip here. There you go. So you can kind of whip it over like that, and then you can get on your brakes and swing it down a little bit. And uh, that's about the most you can do whip-wise in this game. But you can kind of, you know, even though it's, it's almost like you're just hitting a button to do it. There is a little bit of play with it. Like, you can whip it different ways uh, depending on kind of how you come off the jump face. But it's pretty basic in comparison to, like, Reflex and stuff. Like, this game, you're not going to be able to scrub like you can in Reflex. Um, and, and the stupid thing about this game is when you get too far over, like, in the air... If you, like, get too far under the bike or anything like that, the guy will just fall off the bike. Let me show you. Like, that right there. So, it, it really limits you to being able to, like, really turn the bike all the way around. And uh, you're, you're really just doing, like, a, a whip where you're getting under the bike more so than, like, actually doing a backwards whip. You know what I mean? It, it kind of has, like, its own axis on how it turns in this game. So... But uh, either way, I appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.